this is an instrument of class warfare. People from Occupy Wall, Occupy Wall Street, especially Occupy Museums, will recognize it. I want to uh, read something from a work in progress. It's uh, a piece that involves photography and text. Generations of artistic, aristocratic plunder, divine right of kings, invisible hand of the market, never raising all boats, maximizing profits no matter the cost, contemptuous of other, variations of white supremacy redefined, always extracting from the bottom up, corporate systems of exploitation embedded in ancient empires, mad King George, Hamilton, Reagan, artificial bushes, neocons, neoliberals, Clintons, Obama, capitalists all, Trump by fascists, turning consumer against the state. No living wage, no dignity, loss of identity, outsourced, imprisoned, divided, conquered, disenfranchised generations, redlined, credit denied, no credibility, no humanity, echoes of genocide, slavery, indentured servants, immigration, subjugation. I launched the Aaron Burr Society in 2008. As you all know, he's the one who killed Hamilton, our first capitalist. However, we are nonviolent. <laughs> This is not the first time we've had racists, the KKK, corporatists, and fascists in the White House. Woodrow Wilson showed the birth of a nation in the White House. That is a propaganda film for the Ku Klux Klan. He also fired all African Americans who worked for the federal government. Dick Cheney started a war that enriched his corporation, Halliburton. Both of the Bushes were part of the oil industry, which had record profits after the invasion of Iraq. We've been here before. This is really scary, because we never had an open fascist walk into the presidency with Breitbart, alt-right, neoliberal, no, I'm sorry, neo-fascist members of the Ku Klux Klan. We are not going to normalize. We're going to continue working harder than ever. I know a lot of people here, and I hope to know those who aren't friends or acquaintances. We have a lot of work to do. Yeah.